Let's talk about the Brian Cage debut. And if you're a first timer, hit that subscribe button. We're talking Impact Wrestling just as much as humanly possible. So you guys um, who have been following me for quite some time, you know, know I've stepped down from the the Impact review, and I haven't been able to share a whole lot of opinions outside of Twitter. And this uh, past episode of Impact, I thought was really, really good. I thought it was excellent. I thought the wrestling was uh, was really good. And uh, you know, the previous week, I didn't really care for the episode. And one of the things I was really looking forward to this week was the debut of Brian Cage. And I knew it was going to be a squash match. We all knew that's what it was going to be. And I don't think, you know, the squash matches we've been seeing on Impact lately have been very good examples of them. <laughs> I mean, if you think of like the Cult of Lee had, had a match, um, and I can't think of anyone else off the bat. But, um, oh, actually, uh, Hanaya when she took on uh, Amber Noah. So... There's been these squash matches, and the opponents are getting in way too much offense. Do you remember OVE's debut? It was a you know two and a half minute match, but it was fifty fifty the entire time. And it's kind of hard to get into a squash match like that. Um, you know, maybe if it's their second or third match, but you want that debut to be really dominant. And that's what this was. This was a. Uh, it, you know, and the Impact Zone crowd seemed very genuinely surprised to see him there and happy to see him there. He seems happy to be there as well. But this match, I don't know if it was a minute and 30 seconds long. It was it was a pretty quick match. But that is how you do a freaking squash match. Like, this I mean, just this poor guy. I don't even know. Something Cruz. Poor guy. Um, wish it was William Weeks. That would have been badass. But, I mean, he's just throwing him around like a rag doll. And that stuff looked like it really hurt. That power bomb, and then he did the buckle bomb after that. Absolutely ridiculous. And I guess he's going to have another match next week as well. And I really think that's how you do it. And, uh, you know, I listened to a lot of Vince Russo. And I remember, maybe it was two years ago, I don't know. Um, he was complaining about Braun Strowman's... Uh, uh, I guess he was doing a bunch of squash matches week after week after week. And he's just like, what are we watching? Like, wh where is this going, you know? And I don't think anyone could watch this Brian Cage one and be like, I think we could watch this like week after week and people wouldn't be like, okay, what's the point of this? I mean, I really want to see him throw people around now. And this guy has a, damn, he's got a the ability to, to really be a star for the company. If they can commit to him, he can commit to them. And if it's a good marriage and it's a long-term marriage, you know, he's, we don't have guys, many guys like that in wrestling right now, you know, outside of, you know, Lashley, Brock Lesnar, you know, just those big ass jacked dudes. And on the teleconference a few weeks ago with Scott Demore and Don Callis, you know, they were saying that wrestling is kind of getting away from the big, larger than life characters and now wrestlers are looking like the fans wrestlers uh you know wrestlers don't go to the gym they 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 just look like the fans and the fans seem to connect with that don't get me wrong but you know he's also saying where's the, where's the big characters and you know that's what essentially the kind of lashley was for us and now that he's out the door we get brian cage in return and I'm really excited for it. I think everyone else is. And I think everyone else could, you know, agree with me in saying they just want to see this. They'd be okay with seeing these squash matches for a while. Of course, we want to see him get into a program sooner than later. Because, you know, that was kind of Russo's complaint was, what are, we, what are we watching week after week after week? Where is this going? Um, and I don't know where it went. I don't have a clue. But I think with this, you know, I think definitely we want to see a couple. Because another thing that they do, they did this with Hanaya. She had the one squash match with Amber Nova, who's not a knockout. And she didn't really get that much offense in. Um, and then the next week, she takes on R Rosemary. You know what I mean? So, like, if you're going to do it, get a couple squash matches under your belt. So we can see the offense. We can see what you bring to the table. Because that was a lot of the magic from the 80s, you know, uh, parts of the 90s, too, was the squash matches. And... I remember watching the very first ever Monday Night Raw, and the main event was The Undertaker versus Damian Demento. I don't know if anyone remembers who that is. And all I ever saw was Damian Demento wrestle a bunch of squash matches. And I actually thought this dude was like a dominant 
you know, badass. And then you put him in the ring with Taker, you realize he's he's actually just a jobber. But at least I didn't know that beforehand as as the viewer. You know what I mean? So squash matches, when done properly, can really build someone up to look like they're a badass. And when you look at the Rosemary versus Hanaya match, like I didn't feel I was looking forward to the match, but I didn't feel going into it that Hanaya was you know on Rosemary's level by any means. She had one match that she barely won with Amber Nova. So Brian Cage, this is this is just going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait to see what he brings to Impact Wrestling. I really like him in Lucha Underground and always thought, damn, I would love to see him in Impact. And here we are. So leave any thoughts about Brian Cage in the comments, um, about the squash match, if you're looking forward to next week's. And um, just cannot wait to see what he brings to Impact Wrestling. Do it as a star. Don't, don't, don't put the title on him right away, you know, but um, make him a star. Make him champion one day. Uh, he can really be the face and really be um, the man around him parts. So thanks for listening. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.